going to talk about targeted individuals may be prone to more target. Let me rephrase that. Targeted individuals are prone to be more targeted. So, during this time, you know, uh, you know, we in a martial law. You know, that's the phase we in. And, um, you know, me and other brothers out there, other messengers out there have been talking about this shit years before it happened. You know, uh, shout out to TRO. You know, he was talking about this shit a long time ago, years ago. Martial law. I was talking about this years ago. Shout out to Unc L, the 13th son. He was talking about this years ago. Shout out to Serious Minds. Shout out to Professor Griff. He was talking about this years ago. You know what I'm saying? And the list goes on and on. Excuse me. And, um, we are in that phase right now, the martial law, right? And you know, um, it's a thing called the Illuminati party game. And you know, people was talking about this years ago, but you know, it was just like, you know, it was bubbling on the surface, like, you know, whispers here, whispers there. And you know, they'll show a little card in a video, show this, show that, you be like, damn, that shit deep. And you know, shout out to fame versus sacrifice. She be talking about the uh, Illuminati card game and shit. And it's like, if you think about it, um, they have a card called uh, Martial Law. They have a card called Depopulation. They have a card called for all this stuff. And it's just like, uh, Steve Jackson is the creator of this game. It was taken off the shelves in 1995. That was the year I was born. And you know, the year of Return of the Star Seeds. And um, I just threw that part in there. <laughs> That's funny. But, um, Steve Jackson, you know, uh, his his game, his card game was taken, it was taken off the market by the CIA, you know, and uh, it's just like, is he a part of that or not? You know, was he up there on them higher levels? Did he see some things? Because for that, you know, what was that? <laughs> technical difficulties so anyway um like i was saying though uh so it's like did he see some of this shit? i'm just saying this is just all theory you know and it's just like for him to make this card game and for that shit to be so accurate it's like did they sit down and plot this out like they do these cartoons Cause before, like I said, I wasn't, at first I thought this shit was, oh shit, it's a prediction. <clears throat> the whole time it was not a prediction. At the King Williams, shout out to News Knowledge of Life, he broke that shit down. Like, how can it be a, how can it be a prediction? People actually sitting there and plotting how to write these stories and these scripts every day. And I'm like, damn, that shit make a lot of sense. So it's like, with this card game, it's just like, I don't know. Because it's like, the CIA took the card game down. You see what I'm saying? They're not just gonna take the card game down if that shit wasn't really dropping no knowledge. So, you see what I'm saying? So, it's just like something to think about. Not saying that he was a part of that, but he could have knew somebody that knew somebody that was in that hole. You know? Or seen some documents. You know how that, you know how that shit goes. But I don't know. But that's, that's a little, you know, I guess a little backstory, a little theory, you know, something to think about. But yeah, it's this card game. And they got cards on all this stuff. And, um, they even got a card about the Trump assassination. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's not even the whole topic of this video. I was just tying that in to connect the dots. But targeted individuals, right? A person that's a TI, a person that is a, you know, they experience gang stalking, so to speak, like to an extent. Now, this is not a gang stalking video. Uh, see, targeted individuals and gang stalking is two different things, but they correlate to each other, like the same difference, if that makes sense. But um, <clears throat> TIs, like a targeted individual, people that was, like, for example, in high school or elementary school or whatever, it's probably about, let's say, 300 people in your school, or, you know, let's say, like elementary, and all the 300 people, people 
picking over you like I am, I am, but it was just pointing at you. Fuck with you. Like, what the fuck? See what I'm saying? That's a target individual. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, people always say, game stalk is this. The target individual is this. But they're not breaking this shit down. You are targeted from your bloodline. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, that would mean everybody is a, a targeted individual, right? Yes and no. How can it be a yes and no answer? Everybody is everybody is not a targeted individual because you are your bloodline is monitored, right? That's why when you're born in a hospital, which is a docking station for the star seeds to come back, right, to this planet, the womb, right, the womb, which is a part of the woman's body, right, which brings life back into this dimension. You see what I'm saying? So, you go to the dock tour, which is the docking station. You know, when you land a ship, you go to, you dock it. You know, you land in a docking ship or when you uh park in your boat, you dock it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You put that motherfucker on the dock. So, it's like, if you, like, if you see what I'm saying on a higher level, break this shit down. You connect it. How I break my shit, I connect the physical with the spiritual and tie all the shit into the middle type shit, you know? You know? Get swifty with this sh- You understand me, son? But, <coughs> <coughs> anyway, um, so the thing is, when you were born, they take your mom's placenta to study the bloodline. How they do all that shit, nigga, I don't know. I ain't no placenta scientist. I don't know. But I'm just telling you, this is what they do. They take the placenta. You know how they cut that umbilical cord? Yeah, they take the placenta to study the bloodline. And let me tell you why they cut the umbilical cord so fast because if they let the umbilical cord stay there for about five maybe even ten minutes you get on that universal information from the spiritual world because when a baby is born the baby is to it from that spiritual world like of course people go say oh yeah it came from a sperm you know what i'm saying yeah that's the physical process of the baby came from you know having sex then you know the sperm to the egg and all this stuff we you know the whole shebang right that's the physical process but the spiritual process of a human being is getting that soul that's coming from the spiritual realm the celestial realm whatever you want to call it you see what i'm saying so nine months which is 270 days which is still number nine right which is spiraling up that is universal information and the doctors are being hurry up to cut the umbilical cord so you don't receive all the universal information from your past life you see what I'm saying? And some people had natural births. Like they were some people were natural births, like the thirteenth son. He was born on a beach. So he came back with all his information. They didn't just cut his mom's umbilical cord. Go watch his videos. He explains this in deep. You know what I'm saying? Other people have natural home births as well. Like some people born in you know, like just born at home inside the those swimming pools, just different things. Like people practice uh natural home births and that's how those babies come back with more wisdom and more knowledge because they're not just cutting the fucking umbilical cord right then and there. That's why the hospital does that. So you can destroy and stop that information. Then they shoot you with vaccination shots. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot of sleeper cells that's walking around. So a lot of people just, you know, blind to the fuck what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like they just live in their everyday life. Like everything is normal. You see what I'm saying? And they don't even, they're not really aware of too much. You see what I'm saying? They are sleep as hell. And then they, yeah, they probably haven't been woken up from the poison that was put onto them, the AKA the vaccinations and shit that was put onto them at a young age. And that's why a lot of kids have autism nowadays. Because of the vaccination shots. You see what I'm saying? And that's, that's real. You know, shout out to Hassan Campbell. He talked about all that type of stuff as well. You know, the vaccination shots and all that stuff. But this is what they do. You know what I'm saying? This is what these entities are doing. And they doing it and they do it more to certain people, certain bloodlines, because they know certain people carry messenger traits. You see what I'm saying? Like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's not the target individual. Like the people who really was targeted and picked on just just targeted, nigga. That's the best word to explain. Like you always seem like you're the target. And I even seen like you always the target of somebody's shenanigans or somebody's BS. You see, <clears throat> because you are a target individual. Some people 
I, I shit ain't real, you know, because you don't sleep in sleep, you're not, you know, so you're not even aware of what's going on. So the people that can see, like, like you have, you carry messenger genes, you carry so-called prophet genes, you carry um, angelic genes, and that's why you're targeted. That's why your bloodline is more targeted than other people because they know who who is coming back. Even though we don't know, we still find out exactly who we are. They know that oh, this bloodline, these people, oh shit, they could build empires from nothing. You see what I'm saying? They could build empires from scratch. We gotta watch them. You see what I'm saying? Like they're telling you real talk. This stuff is real. It, like it, this doesn't matter what color you are and all this dumb shit or what nationality, what ethnicity. As a, just as a human race, like. People who, people who go through this or people who may be going through this now, <clears throat> I'm looking at the clouds, but uh, people who, well, chemtrails, but <laughs> the people who are going through this now, they will be like, damn, I resonate and I feel exactly what he said because they know what's going on. They're a target individual and your bloodline could be people who got that, that Black Panther in your blood. You see what I'm saying? Got that Marcus Garvey or that Noble Jew Ali, you know what I'm saying? Or you know, like Malcolm X, that Martin Luther King, you got that that the prophetic genes, you see what I'm saying? That makes you prone to being more of a target. You see what I'm saying? They know who carry genes of just angelic genes. And don't get me wrong, everybody get angelic genes, but when they shoot some people with them vaccinations, they shut their shit down. That's why some people be messed up. Because of the stuff that they shoot into these babies when they're born. Real shit. So if you feel like you're getting more targeted and red flagged, it's because duh, they know who you are. They know like if this motherfucker find out the truth, this person can start, like I said, start an empire from scratch. This person can actually get people to follow them, change some shit. You know what I'm saying? You got the ability to, you know, like you say something and you can actually get people to follow you. Like that's like that's the type of shit they they follow people like that, studying people and monitor people who got the whole type of bloodline I'm trying to tell you just this type of stuff is going on and if you're a targeted individual or even if you feel targeted these targeted attacks are to target you to erase the star seed operation kill the star seeds you see what I'm saying this is part three operation kill the star seeds remember I did a part two years ago I did a part one years ago you know what I'm saying and that's their job Operation Stop the Star Seeds, and they know who got certain type of bloodlines, who got certain type of prophetic genes, angelic genes, you know, all the same shit. Oh yeah, shout out to Nazi Ra. He got some cr- he got some crazy ass content about like uh like his angels and just all type of metaphysical, you know, spiritual type stuff. But uh real talk, this stuff is real. That's why you should be laying low, so to speak. You know, of course, take care of your business, do what you gotta do, but you should be staying out the way, all that, being in people's face, oh, being in, you know, like, thinking everybody your friend and shit, that's how they gonna get you caught up, because a lot of people, like, not saying everybody, but a lot of people that's placed around you, right, and they're not even genuine people, and literally people who just placed around you, you know how, like, some people be hanging out in big-ass groups, and you know, they got all these people around them, like, they got all these people, they friend. They say it's a few people in that circle that's your friend, but everybody that's not your friend. I believe people's agents sent to you. 